Hi everyone, Dave here from Oz Drug Test, uh, here to explain the correct procedure in using the six panel urine dip card with adulteration test attached. The adulteration test or specimen validity included is meant to aid in the determination of abnormal specimens. This will detect all drugs needed in the Australian standard, plus critinine and five other adulterations, oxidants, nitrates, specific gravity, glutaraldehyde and pH levels. Okay, so first things first, we need to check the expiration date, make sure that's within limits. And if it is, go ahead and open the foil packaging and reveal the uh, uh, six panel test card here. Now, as you can see, there's the uh, adulteration test with the uh, six different block colors on the side. And of course, the six drugs being tested. Uh, there's also a spot where you can write the name of the person being tested on top uh, and date if need be. So let's go ahead and dip the absorbent ends into the sample for about 10 seconds or however long it will take to migrate up the strips. Keep in mind never to dip past the plastic cover. So as soon as those strips have actuated, which looks like they all have, uh, you can pop the lid back on or place it onto a flat surface, um, whatever you want to do, just so we can wait for the adulteration test to be done, which is usually in around about 30 seconds. Now this test is very popular in Australia uh, because of its affordable nature uh, of the test when compared to a urine test cup. Uh, we supply these uh, tests to a lot of different medical centres around Australia and businesses uh, as they are certified to Australian standards 4308. So for proper interpretation of the adulteration test, all you need to do is match the coloured blocks uh, to the coloured chart supplied here. Um, you've either got a normal range or an abnormal high or abnormal low range. Right here we are matching the first column on the left, the oxidants, specific gravity and pH levels. And that all looks normal range. And then we slide down to do nitrates, glutaraldehyde and creatinine. And we have to make sure they're in the normal range, which all looks good to me. If you do get an abnormally high or low adulteration result, it's recommended that you uh, do a retest or you get another sample. And if that doesn't uh, pass the test, then it's recommended to uh, get laboratory confirmation. But this one looks good, so now we can move on to the drug test. So what we're looking for here is a line in the C region, which is the top line. This shows that the uh, drug test is working correctly. And we're also looking for a line in the T region, which signifies a negative result. This test looks like it's a negative result for all drugs, except for benzodiazepines, which is a fairly faint result at the moment. So um, we'll have to wait uh, until the line appears. Uh, if it doesn't appear by five minutes, we'll have to uh, assume that it's a non-negative result and lab confirmation would be definitely recommended. So we'll just speed up the uh, video here and see what happens. Okay, so there we go. So this is uh, taken about four minutes after the test was uh, started and you can see two lines in every strip there and the benzodiazepine uh, is definitely a negative result as you can see a faint line there in the T region. Uh, no matter how faint the line is, it's still considered a line and must be considered negative. So there we go. Um, any questions, please contact me at davidozdrugtest.com.au and I'll be happy to answer any questions at all. Thank you.